Hello, welcome to the BF Nations Championship. Today we have Sweden vs Germany. It's going to be uh, one hell of a lineup. Uh, I'm joined here today by uh, Mr. Shuffs and Poppy. So, would you like hey to guys. introduce yourself, guys? Hey guys, I'm Shuffs. Um, I was on a stream last week and had so much fun. I thought I'd come back and join you again. Um, we've also got Poppy with us. Say hello, Poppy. Hello, Poppy. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Right, hello, guys. Um, before we start, I'm sure you've all seen this before. If you haven't, please look below the video and you will see a list of rules, etc., etc. If you want to see more rules, if you want to see more of BF Nations, head over to bfnations.com. Um, you can see a full summary of rules, all the calendar with the fixtures and results. If you're wondering what's going on in the tournament, what's going to happen in the tournament. Um, also, I'd like to talk about um, Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime. If any of you are just sat watching with Amazon Prime so that you can sit and watch whatever programs you enjoy watching. Um, you may not be aware that you can also join up to Twitch Prime for free. If you join up to Twitch Prime, it means you can subscribe to channels for free. I'll, I'll, I'll do quotation marks on free. So join up, subscribe to BF Nations, and every single subscriber that joins us will obviously help an ever-growing community, and it will mean an awful lot to me. And I'll, I'll say your name. Like I'm about to say, Sempaternal, 012's name. He subscribed, and we are very grateful. Right, I hand you back over to the other guys regarding the match that's coming up. What are your thoughts on the game? Well, for Go me, on, th th this is torture. You know, I'm I'm Swedish, <laughs> so I don't I don't know if you have seen uh, uh, the newsroom that show. Uh, in one episode, it's a uh, like a newsroom. They have a the vote the election in USA. You have Republicans and Democrats. And they tell the Republican, you cannot show any emotions. If you feel anything, clench your fist underneath the desk. And I'm going for that strategy. I'm scared, really. <laughs> That's, um, well, at least you're honest. Uh, probably at least you're honest. And I, I admire my honesty. Um, it looks like we have actually Team Sweden in already. Uh, we're into, aren't they? Quite uh, enthusiastic for the game. Just waiting for uh, Team Germany. So uh, the lineup for Team Sweden is Sweden is Judith, Mats Goback, Ogzu, uh, L Werner, and Weissman. Uh, we're just waiting for Team Germany to get into the game, and we'll start it off. So, um, Poppy, could you run us through the scoring system for this game? Yes, uh, in this European Championship, we have a new scoring system, which means we play two rounds on every map. And the team with the most tickets after one, uh, two rounds on one map will get a point. So the most points you can get is two, but also in in theory you can get zero, zero, one, one, or two, zero. So two rounds per map, most tickets get a point. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, I'd love to see a draw. We still haven't seen one yet. I mean, there was a draw between Gem between uh, Belgium and Switzerland, I believe, but uh, Switzerland lost uh, two 0 due to a rule violation. Throwing so a limpet when that that was unfortunate. Yeah, that was a limpet charge. Uh, I remember I watched the stream. It was you guys commentating, and I got <laughs> really excited and I screamed "limpet, limpet" <laughs> in my apartment at home. Destroyed so. <laughs> Yeah, my dog jumped off the couch <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Good. Right. So mean. Also, guys, before we start, if you go into the chat, you can bet on who you think's going to win. Um, type in exclamation mark bet, and then the team you want to bet on, and how many coins, and you can place a bet, possibly win big if you bet on the underdog. You could also bet for a draw, but... I'm not too sure that's going to happen yet. Uh, no, that this, this is a really, really tough game. Um, Team Germany is one of the favorites to win the whole European Championship, really, in my mind. But uh, I know, I know personally, know the people that plays for Sweden. Uh, play, I play with them almost every day, uh, and hopefully, they can put up a good fight. I hope so. I don't want to see a one-sided game here. I want to see a big fight from Sweden. I want to see German on, Germany on the ropes for a bit. Um, but saying that, Germany are one of the favourites. And I, I think after watching Spain this evening, they'll go on and they'll challenge Germany towards the end of the tournament. 
Is that the way you think it's going to head, Muggy? Um, Germany, obviously an excellent team. Uh, I do have um, sort of biased inclinations towards Germany, but uh, I'm pretty sure Sweden's definitely got, got some great players here. Julep, Mats Kullbeck, uh, Weissman, all, 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 all really good players. So they'll give uh, Germany a run for the money, definitely, uh, if not win the game. Uh, that's my stance and view on this match and for the tournament. Uh, I, I'd say I'd say Sweden's got a good chance of winning. Um, there are some good teams out there, Portugal, Spain, UK, etc. But um, but yeah, um, I have confidence in Sweden winning this match, if not drawing with it. So that's that's my view. Nice. Um, I already made my view clear in the chat. If you have a look, I've just put, placed a little bit on um, Germany. Um I think it might be one sided. Don't like look at my bed, please. Don't look at your bed. <laughs> How much have we put down? <laughs> oh, no, I, I can never bet. I can never bet uh, against Sweden. Never, never, never. And uh, I, I want you to look out a little extra on Julep and Werner. There are two exceptional players, and Werner doesn't get enough credit really, but he's he's a really, really good battlefield player. If you play with them, what what is their communication style like on mic? Are they calm during? Do they speak well, or or, or do they get aggravated at, at each other when they're not doing what they want? Usually, pretty calm and pretty. You know, we're Swedes. We have IKEA. Uh, we are oh, organized oh. people. Uh, you know, so pretty calm. But when you get under pressure, when you get a triple ga- cap against you. I know that the tension rises and it's easier to to get almost a little panic attack, you know. Uh, and Sweden, I think that happens to every team, really, if they get a triple cap against them. It's hard to keep the calm when that happens. Yeah, I can imagine. I, especially at this level of the game where there is a cash prize on the, on the line. Um, in case you didn't know, we do have a cash prize on the line. There is £1,500 to the winner of the, the whole tournament. So there is a lot at stake, so you will see a lot of people pushing harder than they normally would, I imagine. Um, how do you feel this is affecting the teams, Muggy? Um, it definitely puts a lot of strain on the teams. Uh, it, it's all down to how well the players know each other and uh, how well they get along with each other. To be honest, if if you don't work well with the other team, your team's not going to be pulling through and not going to be winning this championship. You've got to have excellent communication and you won't be communicating if you don't like the guys you're with. You won't be, um, you won't be helping each other really if, you're, if you don't like the guys with you with, who you're with. Um, and definitely a major part of, of uh, what the teams need to have. So, yeah, yeah without, without that, it's over, really, for the team. There's only two th- possible things that could happen to a team during a match. Either everybody goes silent and nobody talks, losing you the game, or everybody's tearing into each other and um, that loses you the game as well. So communication and keeping c- uh, calm head is definitely important. Definitely. Um, I just want to do a quick piece on battle coins at the minute. Everybody who watches a stream will earn battle coins. The longer you watch, the more battle coins you get. If you sub, you'll get double those battle coins. Your battle coins can then be redeemed in the BF Nation store and buy cool things like some really nice ones. I've got, I've got one on right now, actually. Really nice fit, nice and comfy, and all earned by just watching the stream. Um, if you want to chuck some bits, you'll get some more battle coins. You want to follow, you want to sub, you'll get loads more. So please, everyone get involved. If you want to see a quick summary on this, scroll down below the video. And underneath redeem your points is a summary on what to do. You can also find a link to the store and see what merch we've got available. It's and now we have both teams ready in the server. So we will have Team Sweden playing in the red for the Ottoman Empire, and we will have Team Germany playing in the blue for the British Empire. So only 25 seconds until the game starts here and I'm um, I'm literally shaking a little bit but I, I'm not going to be biased I promise I promise <laughs> so if Sweden get a triple cup you're not going to be shouting with excitement no uh, no <laughs> no <laughs> I, think, I think getting a triple cup is a shouting for excitement anyway yeah so. you you are right Mugi. it is for, for every team any team to get a triple cap should 
be recognized in a big way. It is, it really it watch is a out. difficult achievement um, when there's only five of you, so yeah. Berg FTP is fighting for his t-shirt on the BFN merchandise, so watch out for him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be uh, calling his way to get that. And Definitely get yourself subscribed then, off. dude. Yep. Yeah, if you want, if you want to get all those points and get that merch quicker, uh, sub to BF Nations on Twitch. So looks like we have Team Germany holding uh, Alpha and Brawl. Looks like they've left nobody back at Brawl, though. And also making a push here on Charlie. This could be an early trip cap for Germany, and it does look like it. It does. Sweden's yeah. been being pinned down here on Alpha by Synergy Heart and Genetics. Uh, God. Ooh, and there it is, there it is, there it is. And it's a long um, oh, triple. Yeah. Oh no, if you look, Team Sweden have managed to capture apples, so... They've not managed to capture anything. No, they it's didn't. a trip cap for Germany. Yeah, and, and really, 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 really. Alpha are taken down. Wow, this is super, super long. Um, Sweden really need to push something right now. It's, it's pivotal that they do. Yeah, Otherwise, they'll they have... Uh, Lost this round. Yeah, and they are desperately running towards Charlie here, trying to end their first there. They they broke the triple cap. But man, it's 43 point uh, tickets deficit for Sweden right now. That's a long way back from there. Yeah, in, in about one and a half minutes, have a deficit of over 40 tickets. That's not a good start. Wow. Yeah, but I think... Um, <laughs> I think Germany's done better than Spain here in terms of how fast they've managed to uh, pull off a trip cap and hold it for that long. Uh, and, and sorry for breaking wow. breaking off there. They're going for another triple cap, and they got it now. Uh, wow! We, yeah, this is incredible, really. Um, I did not expect this kind of uh, uh, action from Germany. That this no, I total domination. <laughs> Yeah, um, we have Chap 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 asking for a shout out. There you have it. Again? Um, yeah, again. <laughs> Don't let me get he the really... ban hammer out, Chap Chap Chap. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to uh, get popular here on Twitch. Um, looks like looks like Germany has actually lost uh, well, Charlie, but taking back Alpha. They're making yeah, a push but... now for Charlie. Why yeah. Sweden? They don't seem to be here on Charlie. Uh, yeah. They don't, they don't seem to be near any flags. No, they're they're in between the flags. They're trying to get to apples, but the, the Germans are doing a really good job defending apples, and this triple cap could could be there till the end. Yeah, I, I'm afraid afraid it can be. Um, we have Augustu and El Werner pushing up to Alpha now. Uh, I favor Scientic and um, Centic even, and M1 Wooler holding down here in the Alpha. Wow, and my Wooler taken down, Feb Centic getting a double kill with an auto revolver, damn! Nasty. Oh um, my god. As you've been told, his, his name is pronounced Me Wooler. Sorry about that. Right, I want to shout out Shamwise, thank you for the follow, man. Uh, anybody who is followed and doesn't have their notifications turned on, make sure you turn them on, and you'll always be ready for the next stream, it'll pop up in your notifications. There was a very, very dominant victory for Germany. Uh, do you think Sweden can pull this back, Puppy? Speak with your head, not your heart. <laughs> yeah, with my head, no. Uh, um, I think they should forget about Sinai and start focusing on ballroom because Germany is going to get more than 12 tickets next round, for sure. So forget about this. This was just a warm-up. Focus on the next map instead already now. Just, just get, try to get some good feeling back because look at the, look at the scoreboard there were nobody got 10 uh, 10 kills in total so this was very very quick well julep had 3 8 so but still this was very quick so we will be right back guys we will take a little break and we will be back for the next round soon
Hello, welcome back to the BF Nations Championship. Today we have uh, fin- sorry, Sweden v Germany. So looks like the first round actually went to Germany and by quite a lot, large margin. Um, the second round will start now here on uh, Sinai Desert. Sweden will be uh, in the British, will be as a British in blue and uh, Germany will be in red as the Ottomans. Doesn't look like the spawns actually switched though. Or, or was was it or did, was it switched? I'm not sure. Could you clarify that for me? Uh, yeah, it was. Your yeah, right. it, it was it was switched in in my opinion. I think so. Uh, and Team Germany only needs twelve tickets to secure the point for Sinai Desert. So, but Sweden, it's important for Sweden to to fight through this first round and and uh, get some. I'm looking for the English words. They need a bit of morale back in their team, I think, is yeah. what you're trying to say. Like the, we say in Sweden, some jävla ranamma. That is yeah. the Swedish expression. You need exactly. To, or or sisu, as you say in Finland. Sisu. sisu. Right, yeah, sisu. Is, yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard of that before. I've heard yeah. of that before. It's like, um, it's, it's what they used to say against, uh, it's like a, it's like a show of how firm they are, or something like that. So... Yeah, I'm probably wrong. Anybody who's <laughs> finished, uh, tell me that I'm wrong in the comments <laughs> down below. I know I'm wrong, definitely, but okay. I accept it. Uh, mm -hmm. Looks like... Yeah, yeah Sisu. Oh. Um, <laughs> looks like uh, Sweden's managed to cap Charlie. Um, and Jeremy's already won this, this map and won yeah. the point there. But they, they have, they have more than Sweden. 12 tickets. Sweden has started much better this round still. Uh, Doing if you doing a better job defending and everything, um, but still, you can f see how Germany is pushing for Charlie right away. Oxus trying trying to defend but get, get taken out, and it looks like another triple cap is in the making here. Looking at the uh, scoreboards real quickly, um, Germany just absolutely dominating right now with <clears throat> two from um, Team Sweden without any kills even. Yet, so definitely yeah. a very hard match here for Sweden. Um, and we have a triple cap. They're struggling to even get to one flag at the moment. And yeah, this, this, says, again, this might be a long. Yep, sorry. Shamwai says Sisu equals determination and courage. I, yeah. I imagine yeah, that, that's the best way of putting it. Yeah, it I was is. Close. It is. I was close. Come on, guys. I was close. <laughs> yeah. Grit. Exactly. Grit. And, there you go. And what is than grit? Yeah. Right. I'm glad you guys can translate to <laughs> to our language. <laughs> we need we need our help. <laughs> we need your help. So follow us, subscribe to us, help us. Let's make this community a really good one. Uh, an even better one. It yeah, exactly. Really it's one. already good, but let's make an epic one. BF Nation <laughs> is basically breathing life into uh, about for one's PlayStation community. Uh, so yeah. And we see Team Germany's taken another triple cap now. Let's see how long they can hold on to this one. Could uh, be a game changer again. They've already yeah, pulled away on points. Cap. Trip yeah. cap after trip cap here for Team Germany. I mean Sweden's morale is probably plummeted. Uh, they're obviously they're obviously going to be either really silent or tearing into each other as yeah. we're speaking. So and the tic tickets are just flying away. Team Sweden is trying to break the triple by capping Charlie Point at the moment, but look at the tickets. The team Germany is almost 70 tickets in the lead there. So yeah, it's um, it's really really the end of Team Sweden. Um, it would take a miracle for them to actually get back from this. Uh, and yeah, they, even if they did get back from this and won this round, they wouldn't have got a point anyway. So. Yeah, exactly. It's just for the morale and the pride, really. You know, it, it's yeah, not fun yeah. to lose and lose like this. is It's tough, you know. Uh, no. All these are great players and it hurts to lose like this. Uh, Definitely. Um, nobody joins a tournament to lose. Exactly. 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 Everyone wants to win. It's be demoralizing, so though. It is quite a big margin. And it looks like it's going to get even bigger. It's another trip cap here, and a trip cap to the end of the end of the game, and that's the second round here on Suez. It's uh, it's one point here for uh, Team Germany. 
uh, Sweden unable to push past even 20 tickets there. Wow. Yeah. Yet more they, domination. Yeah, they took more more tickets this round, though, than they did the first round. Yeah. So, yeah, something did. to push positive to look at. Shout out and... to Eldog X for the, for the follow. Thank you, mate. Keep it up, people. Everyone keep following. Everyone keep subscribing. It means such a lot to us. Right. What is the next map, guys? Can you tell the people what we are going to be watching next? Yes, the next map will be Ballroom Blitz, and it will be Sweden. Uh, oh, Germany choice, right? Uh, I think this was Sweden's map, actually. Um, so we will be in for a treat and see how good Germany can be there. And we will see if Sweden can put up a bigger fight there. But before that starts, we're going to take a few little breaks. So we will be right back with you. Hello guys, welcome back to our match between Sweden and Germany. We've played two rounds already and it is finished 1-0 to Germany. It looks like it's it's going to be heading Germany's way if Sweden don't pull something out of the bag in this next round. Hopefully, they'll have got their heads together in the break, pulled themselves together, got a bit of a bit of sisu between them and they'll be ready to go for this next round. What do you think is going to be happening, Puppy? With my heart, I will. Uh, <laughs> I want to see a, a, a Swedish team that is well organized. That's that's really going for it and still believes that they can take this. But with my mind, I think that we will see a Germany dominating again. I'm afraid uh, they they look ridiculously strong. Coming from a standpoint yeah. of a, a competitive player, Muggy, would you be worried to face this German team with Team GB? Um, with with Team UK, uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be too worried. We've played uh, Spain. We have played um, other great teams, and uh, we've done very well against them. So this team is just like the rest. I mean, I'm talking from UK's standpoint here. Um, I'm I'm ready to take on. I'm I'm sure the team is ready to take on any nation from any country and win this tournament. So that's obviously my standpoint. But from a competitive point of view, this is not a team you want to really fight at all. Uh, definitely a really strong team and um, yeah it's just <laughs> absolutely absolute beasts uh, they are really just best players some of the best players you can get 
So, I think that's him you want to see. There so we go, pub game. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see the best players, guys, this is the best place to be for it. So make sure you follow and you subscribe. We've just had a couple of followers. Yoniru, thank you for the follow. And J3RMU3, thank you for the follow, guys. Please keep it up. Turn your notifications on. And don't forget, if you've got Amazon Prime, you can switch over to Twitch Prime for free. And then you can subscribe to us for free. And that will benefit the community in the long run. So please yeah. think about doing that, guys. Yep. Yeah. Does it actually make me actually most of a cup uh, Yeah. You saying, Poppy? No, that was exact, exactly what <laughs> I was going to say to you about the triple cap. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's me getting excited about everyone following. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you should. You should. Uh, definitely something that uh, we need to we need to focus more on. These followers really do help us, and uh, we really appreciate every single follow and subscription. So hit that follow button if you can't subscribe. Um, looks like Germany might be able to pull off another trip cap here on Charlie. Uh, Germany is just really playing the name of the game here, and uh, and just stopping and again. locking out Sweden from yeah. all objectives. It seems synergy heart taken out by L Werner, uh, Julep making the push to Bravo. Germany still holding down near Charlie. Uh, we actually have Mats go back. Ogzu uh, backed up by L Werner making a push for Charlie. L Werner in contact with Genetics Guard taken down by synergy heart. Uh, looks like Sweden's actually been stopped here from pushing up the Charlie due to that incendiary net. Uh, well placed from Team Germany, actually. Uh, we have Vertex Duckies taken down by Ogzu, but also managed to take down uh, Matt Skullback. Synergy Hart taking down Ogzu. Synergy Hart still alive. Uh, El Werner being, sorry, Werner, yeah, El Werner being the squad spawn here and managing to hold out against uh, Germany's team. But they seem to be just fighting over this one area, that's not what you want to do in, in a game like Domination. You want to be pushing those flags and you want to be going around different areas. Uh, if you can't push one area, make a move to somewhere else. And it looks like Genetic Scott managed, managed to get the kill on El Werner. Uh, Charlie is safe again for Team Germany, but they seem to be losing Alpha now. Uh, Synergy Heart, Genetic Scott making a push. Looks like Weissman managed to take down um, Synergy Heart. Right, thank you, Emery Game Pro, so, for the follow. Yep, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we'll see. We actually had a here. team kill there. My Wooler yeah. taking down Vertex Dukis. Really you were saying, nice. Poppy? Yeah, we can see, we can see how Mivola is capping apples as we speak, and another triple cap for Team Germany right now. Um, really impressive and they're doing a really good defending their points they're, they have taken two so we can see how the tickets just flying away and we have Mivola defending with the 80 rockets and oh, I, I'm so impressed by Team Germany really really impressed and I know that Phantom said in the interview that he was watching this game so Team Spain uh, I think they might take a lot of notes here so see to see if they can finish Team Germany next week here, but it, it will be tough for Spain to to win over these guys. That's definitely one people will want to tune in to hello, tune into then. Yeah, will be an epic game. What's your best? Uh, who do you think will win, Germany or Spain, on that next match? What? Well, I, I, I say Germany. A, I've, I've watched a few Spain games. I've watched a few Germany games now, and it, it's very close call. I I don't know. I might even put my bet down on a draw next week. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that Germany's going to win. Uh, I'm going to say that because Germany's players, like, overall are, are good, whereas Spain has um, Phantom, which is absolutely excellent, and the other players are good. So I'd, I'd just go with the more balanced team and say Germany rather than uh, Spain. And there's the end of the round. Another victory for the Germans. If yeah. You're... And the winner between Spain and Germany next week will also be the winner of the group. So, uh, a, a really important game for them. If you so, want to watch that game next week, it will be next Saturday. And it will be at 7.30 GMT. Um, a lot riding on it. So, please, follow, subscribe. You'll get the notifications and you'll know when it's on. So, then you won't miss a piece of the action. Actually, we should have to... Quick, take a quick look at the scoreboard there. It looks like um, Sweden actually managed to do better than KD wise, uh, and Germany did worse KD wise um, on this map, which is interesting to see, seeing as it's, as it's um, Germany's map choice. 
But uh, yeah, we'll be right back after the break and we'll see you shortly. Hello, welcome back, guys, to the last round of the evening. Um, Germany and Sweden. It is 1-0 to Germany, and they don't need many tickets to be able to take this game. So it's looking like it is going to be a 2-0 victory for the Germans. Again, yeah. how, how does that feel, Puppy? <laughs> yeah, it, it's rough to watch, and, and Germany only needs 17 tickets to win this map to and win the whole game. And, of course, it's never fun to watch your friends and teammates lose because we, we play together we, we're in the same clans and stuff like that but I can't help but being really impressed by Team Germany uh, all at the same time you know but I really feel for for the players in Team Sweden I guess in, in order to improve your team you need to play the best team so being in a tournament like this will stand Sweden in good stead for future tournaments coming up though so maybe next tournament they'll, they'll have regrouped they'll have a a lot more talking going on they'll know what's going on and they'll know their opposition which makes a big difference um if you come up against a team you've never played before you don't know how to play you might be a bit nervous thinking oh we're playing germany let's i don't know um so maybe maybe yeah. just maybe next tournament they'll come out all guns blazing and they'll surprise us yeah of course and and since this is a first time ever this tournament i think the interest will grow i think there will be more Swedish players, more competitive players, uh, we, we can train more, we can do more screams, we can prepare each other better. So, so I think, yes, this is has not been the best start to a tournament for Team Sweden, but this is the first one. The future will come and we will play much better in the future, I'm sure about it. Yeah, the, you're always going to improve. It, yeah. There's only one way up for Sweden. Uh, look at our comment here, Bonji Boost saying Germany has more team player. You are correct. Germany uh, does have more team player. They're keeping tabs on the uh, Swedish players and their movements. So, um, well done, Team Germany. There, uh, they seem to be holding uh, Bravo Charlie, um, and looks like Sweden's just in control of Alpha for now and spreading out here among along the uh, archways. I guess looking at the minimap makes a massive difference in in terms of. 5v5 games so if you can see three players on the minimap you know where half the team is already don't you so you know where you can push and where you can't yeah yeah, yeah. definitely um the actual the thing they want to do on this map is hold bro which bro alpha and uh trap enemy team the enemy team in charlie if you can push for a trip cup push for a trip cup but if not then hold your ground and spread out uh, that's usually the tactic that teams go for. Um, another another thing you could do is hold Alpha Charlie and try and knock him out on Brawl. It's a, it's a little bit harder, but it's still manageable if you've got a good enough team. Uh, and Germany is really flexing their muscles here and showing us that they can do both. Yeah, but Sweden is uh, doing a much better job this round, in my opinion. They are capping both Charlie and Butter at the moment and, and winning more 1v1s. So, a much better job from Sweden right now. Uh, it's like they had said to each other that we, we need to improve. So, 
better start. You see, 19 to 24, the tickets, it's closer, but we know the triple caps are devastating. So hopefully, hopefully Sweden can keep it a little tight to this round, and it, and they're doing a better job, actually. They're doing a much better job. I guess that comes from playing against Germany. You think if you played three games, three games of football against the same team back to back, you're going to know by the third game how they like to play, so you can pick up some of their tactics and you know where they're going to be. But at the same but, time, the skill's always going to show. Yeah, and now Team Germany got a triple cap. Yes, because I started to talk about Team Sweden there. <laughs> Saying I how jinx. good they're doing. The curse I of the Swedish commentator. Yeah, I jinxed, I jinxed it. And this is a good triple cap. Really good one. Team Germany is, is placed really good, defending the points yeah. perfectly. And as it looks like Team Germany has actually taken the second point um, by accumulation of tickets there. Uh, um, yeah. Sweden's re already lost the game, I'm sure they already know that, but um, they're still playing and th they're still uh, us using their almost e utmost efforts to cap these flags and kill their enemies. So, um, well done to Team Sweden. Yeah, so Weissman actually managed to get um, a cheeky little rocket kill there. Uh, you always yeah. you gotta love those rocket kills. And, and you, <laughs> a lot of people did, don't. <laughs> yeah, Julep did a massive job on Apples, taking out a couple of the Germans there. Uh, capping that point and uh, yeah, th okay. they are fighting. They are fighting Sweden, but Germany is really really good By Austropunk, thank you for the follow mate uh, and also to Ilesoi. I think I've said that right. Maybe. Thank you very much guys. Keep it going. Anybody else wants to follow feel free to it literally takes one little click on the heart above Dream then you can always stay in touch for the, the remainder of the tournament. We've got three games coming tomorrow and then we've got another three on Sunday. So it is an action-packed weekend for everyone to look forward to. Uh, what games are you looking forward to tomorrow, Puppy? Oh, I'm looking forward to, to all the games, actually. <laughs> you see, uh, I'm going to do a good thing tomorrow. I'm going to have some beers with some friends. And we're going to stay here. And we're going to watch all the games um, tomorrow <laughs> also. So Drunken comments. Maybe so. So I will. I, I will not commentate tomorrow. <laughs> I can tell you that. Oh. Yeah. So well, we have the end of the fourth round. Wow. Well, yeah. Uh, Germany taking it 100 to 24. Um, I don't think Sweden. Sweden really prepared for this. To be honest, uh, I was talking to one of their players, Julep, before the match, and uh, he was also stating how his team didn't have enough practice before the match started. We may be having an interview with Julet, one of the Swedish players. Please stay around, guys. See what his opinion on one match was. Um, but as you could see, it was a very comprehensive victory for the Germans. It was almost as if they were praying. As sad as that is to say, because I really, really wanted to push on and show us what they could do. Um, it must be sickening, Puffy, to see your team be beaten as badly as that. Well, it's more that I feel for them. You know, I, I know these guys. I, I know them. So it hurts more. I, I understand what they're going through right now. And, and it's not fun. So I'm more sad for them, actually. What what did you think about it, Muggy? What were, what were your thoughts on the game today? I think um, both teams uh, tried the hardest. Um, but it looks like uh, in terms of skill and tactical knowledge um germany came on top and this uh it's a dog eat dog championship so you know you gotta be pushing for those prizes and the strongest teams wins and um, that's all i gotta say about it germany obviously the stronger team here and taking the win so okay right. guys should we take a little break and see if we can get some interviews for your for you guys in there so please please stay we, we will be right back, hopefully, with uh, someone from Team Sweden and maybe someone from Team Germany. So please be patient and we will, we will be right back. Thank you, guys.
know you're a monster. Hello, welcome back. We have the um, Swedish squad leader here, Julep. Um, we'll, 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 this is the post-match interview. So, uh, Julep, what were your thoughts on the game and how it played out? Uh, kind of expected, actually. We know uh, we knew the guys. German team was very good, um, and we kind of just tried to go into the game with a uh, uh, positive mindset, you know, and try to learn as much as we could because we knew mm. we wouldn't be able to um, take them all out in one be once uh, as you saw kind of uh, yeah <laughs> in the stream i guess yeah yeah um uh, and you know what, what, yeah. what sort of tactics did, did you guys try to employ and what sort of strategies did you guys try to uh, use during the match uh it was a lot about um i guess trying to flank um and also we had we had put up a lot of tactics but um as we weren't able to uh, challenge the Germans one v one. The tactics kind of kind of fall, you know, uh, because if you can't yeah. kill them, the tactics won't work. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel you had uh, enough, like, sufficient time to prepare for the match or to um, get your squad together and make sure you and practice together? Really, uh, I mean, you, you, you gradually you know, did get gets... better your team throughout the match, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, uh, we haven't had that much time to to um, get our tactics on point and uh, play together. A lot of guys have been working a lot, and I've been away as well a couple of days. Right. And uh, we kind of have had to. Uh, as Team Sweden was kind of in shambles in the beginning, like pre the tournament, pre tournament. Uh, so yeah. we had uh, to kind of uh, make up up our tactics during the tournament so um yeah we would have needed yeah. to put in more time before the tournament for sure julie yeah, shut yeah, mate. Off. just going to ask you about next week next week you're playing finland how do you think that one will go down we've seen them tonight already mm. um same result against spain uh the two favorites for the, the competition obviously so how do you think you guys will fare against the, the finish uh i think it will be a much more even game hopefully uh more entertaining as well, I hope for uh, people watching the streams, not as one-sided as these games have been against Spain and Germany. Uh, as I think both Finland and Sweden are more on on um, even grounds. I think at least I hope. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <be fun>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two well-supported nations. We've got a lot of people in the chat giving Finland and Sweden a lot of love. Um, yeah, yeah. So it was really nice to see you guys playing today. Um, I'd like to thank you for coming along and talking to us as well. Um, yeah, and sure. I'm I'm hoping next week you guys manage to, to to pull it out of the bag. Show us what you can do. Get your heads together in the week, sort your teamwork out, and then turn up next week and show us a two 0 yourselves. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I hope so too. I will. Uh, I w we will do our best to uh, come back stronger. 
next Friday or when when the next match is for sure. Super. Well, thank you very much for your time, Juliet. Yeah. Thank you, guys, as well. Right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in today. That will conclude the matches for this evening. Um, obviously, like I've already said, please, please, please follow. Turn your notifications on. You'll see whenever we go live next. We've got three big games coming up tomorrow. We've got Austria versus France, Netherlands, Poland, and Switzerland, the UK. Um, if you go over to bfnations.com forward slash calendar, you can see all these laid out nicely with the time slots on them. Um, like I said, thank you very much for tuning in today. You, you're, you're, you, yeah. you followers make this channel, and that that's fantastic. So thank you very much for getting involved, for getting involved in the chat. Yeah, Mostly, thank you very much, guys. I want to say thank you to Muggy, Puppy, and Chaos. They've been fantastic today. So thank you guys for your effort turning up today. Thank mm -hmm. you, chefs. It's been fun. A little did hurt a little bit this last match. Bit sweet but I, in the end. Yeah, but I support my Swedish team all the time. So I I would Thanks, I wouldn't change this for the for the world. You know. I no think worries. I think the real MVP awesome. of the, of the stream is Chaos Zek. He does yeah. all the behind the work scenes. So yeah, kudos to you Kiasek. guys. Can't hear right. me swearing at us off, off stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we get we get told off a lot. Yeah. No worries. So thank you very much, guys, and we hope to see you all here back tomorrow.